everybody, it is week two of this Do The Unthinkable Challenge and just to let you know that this video is sponsored by Muscle Foods Do The Unthinkable. If you're checking this video out for the very first time and you're intrigued about the plan or you want to be a part of the plan and stuff like that, I will leave all the details down below for you guys to go and check out. Sorry, I'm doing this thing again where I can't move my head. <laughs> If you are interested as well, I have a discount code for you, which is crispy small five. Um, and if you put that into the voucher code when you are ordering your first order, you'll get five pounds off your first order. Lovely stuff. I've just arrived back from the gym and I was welcomed by this box. It is time for some more food. Shall we have a little look and see what we've got? Okie dokie. Before I open this box, I had a chat with PT Steve, who is the face of Do The Unthinkable. Lovely chap, absolutely great, very good laugh. And um, I explained to him about how I've been feeling on my first week and how I've been like fidget picking, fidget picking. <laughs> I'm really like, I've really been like really craving stuff. And he gave me a really good tip and that was to brush my teeth. So every time when I had that urge, if I'm at home, try and brush your teeth because it will stop the, uh, it, it kind of like stops the, the barrier of wanting like sweet things and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, I never heard of that. So that's gonna be a good one to think about. So let's see how that goes on for the remainder of the week because it's gonna be an exciting week, I tell you that for sure. Right, let's go and open this and let's see what I've got. Can I just say as well, this box has got a lot of good little references on here. Kinda needed those for my half marathon that I did. I'm a white collar boxing fight as well. So very good little motivational little quotes on there. So I didn't really show these on the first week. Um, I did show them in last month's videos, but if you're very new, I'm gonna show you now. I do apologize about the noise, you're right next to the boiler. So it's all good. Um, you get a little booklet that's basically the rules of your plan. So you can have fruit, you can have um, carbs, you can have other things with the plan. You're just kind of restricted on some things on how much to eat. You know, it kind of tells you what good carbs are, you know, to eat and the, the rules about drinking water and if you can drink alcohol as well, because we're, we are human after all guys. And you know, you, you can you can drink it in a moderation. Um, try and substitute your milk for like uh, unsweetened soya or almond milk, which I do. And I tell you, it is a game changer. It tastes amazing. Your coffees taste so much creamier. It's lovely, it's great. And it's like, can I add more vegetables to the plan? Can I have fruit with the plan and stuff like that? And you can, you absolutely can. So all of that is all in there. You get given your little envelope and this little envelope has your um, has your timetable in. Kind of shows you a little chart, you know, for your DVD as well. So it kind of, ma it kind of marks out uh, when to actually exercise with the DVD and what session as well that you need to use um, and as well there's a little chart at the bottom where you can uh, put in your fitness results in there and your measurements and stuff so you've got everything all in one pack. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little gander. It's a really nice chart to, to have a look at. It's very easy on the eyes. It's very good. You get this one as well which is your little letter from Steve. So you get your letter from PT Steve's welcoming you to the plan. You get your little recipe file of facts, which I love. I think these got some really good tasty uh, treats in there. This is like my second box or my fourth box if you want to include like the other um, do the unthinkable boxes that I've actually had. And I've got quite a few of these now. So I'm not sure if you get given these every time um, along with the DVD as well, because probably the DVD is in as well somewhere. Yeah, there's, there's another DVD, so I've got quite a few of these. So I am going to ask them if you get given these every time when you order a box, because that's a lot of, that's a lot of DVDs and a lot of recipe books. <laughs> but like I say, this is actually a really good DVD. You kind of run by your own pace. Um, there's Tabata in there, there's circuits, um, there's all sorts in there and there's a huge glossary in there to actually show you how to do the, to the workouts as well so they are safe as well and make sure that you're working the right muscles and stuff which I definitely approve of. <laughs> like that couldn't be planned anymore. This is the recipe book that's kind of fallen out, it's like a file of facts, um, yeah. <laughs> Someone didn't close that one. This recipe book is kind of like your 
substitute for your naughty food. Ingredients are very, very simple and they look like stuff that you already have in your cupboard anyway and like the cooking times on some of these are like 20 minutes preparation is 10 minutes and, and it shows you as well on how much it serves and the great thing about it is you've got your nutritional information on the back of these as well so you can put them in your my fitness pal so you can log it all in it's great love it love it right i'll sort that one out in a minute i think that's all the paperwork now I've got a ton of food and it nearly fell out. Uh, I'm gonna go and check this out right now. Hiya. And this is what I have this week. Now you may notice that it might be a little bit smaller this week is because I've repeated a few tubs here and I'll explain why. Uh, but yeah, this is my six day plan. Do you like my little squashes over there? I'm gonna try and eat you. I will eat you, I will, I promise, one day. And um, also as well, They've added some new things to the menu and uh, these are pasta kits which one is penne pasta with spicy pork and parsley crumb and the other one is basil pesto, mixed mushrooms and a walnut chilli crumb. They sound really really good. These were brand new when I saw them on the order form and I was like I have to try these. So I'm very excited to try these because we love a good pasta kit, we do. Because that's one thing that I've noticed, even though I've enjoyed this food, sometimes the food can get a little bit repetitive, so it is very much like rice, chicken, vegetables. But what's actually happening right now is they're incorporating different foods in there, you know, like the pancakes from last week. And now it's the pasta kits. They really are increasing the menu choices that are on there, so very excited. Let's show you what I have. Uh, I'm gonna start at the bottom. I'm in no particular order. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just start off. So I have got five packets of fridge raiders because I love them. Uh, like what I showed you before, I've got the one with the flapjacking, I've got two with the chorizo bites, and I've got two with the chocolate covered coffee beans and pretzels. Um, I've got three lots of the protein crunches, which are like crispy treats, they're very yummy. Um, I've got two mil milk chocolate and one uh, white chocolate. I've got two barbecue zippers because they're my five. <laughs> I've got two packets of salt and vinegar vibes. You can tell that I've started to find my favorites and my go-tos on, um, on this muscle food list. Um, I've got some protein popcorn, which is sweet vanilla. I've also got another one, which is simply salted. And I've got the protein crunch pork rinds, which are delicious. They're really nice. They're not like a British sort of pork scratching. They're more like an American pork scratching, if you get what I'm saying. I've got the great pizza here. Chicken tikka, lovely, lovely. And uh, they do have a goat's cheese one, but I'm not a fan of goat's cheese. So chicken tikka is a must. Um, I'm really hoping that they're gonna bring more flavors out soon. Please bring more flavours out, please. That'll be great. Okay, I've got the, the two chicken on a sticks, which I love. I've got the Chinese marinated and I've got the spicy marinated chicken breast. They are, you, you're just chewing on chicken. It's just, it's so good. It's so yummy. I've got the uh, chili beef stir fry. I've also got the black bean chicken as well, which I really liked from last week. This, believe it or not, is a snack and it is the teriyaki chicken noodle. One thing I did do in September, my first week, I ordered a load of soups going, wow, these are snacks, these are brilliant. Completely forgot about it, and I started eating the soups for lunch, and I was like, why am I so hungry? And I realized these are actually snacks, not lunch. And this is the perfect weather for these. Oh, perfect weather. We have the maple pancakes, and we've got the blueberry pancakes as well, which were yummy, and then we've got quite a lot of rice pots. Um, let's go through them. So we've got sweet chili chicken, we've got chicken balti, and we've got chicken tikka masala, we've got chicken and chili black bean chicken, we've got chicken balti again, we've got barbecue chicken, Ooh, careful of the porridges, um, and we've got chow mein as well. We've got a huge tower of protein porridge, which we have the apple, um, the apple sultana and cinnamon. We've got the chocolate, we've got the gingerbread, and we've got the banana. Now, why so many tubs? Uh, well, because we are off to Disneyland Paris this week. We're off tomorrow. Uh, I want to try and stay as close to this plan as possible. I've been looking online to see what kind of regulations there are in regards to bringing food over, and um, I think I'm all good to actually send these over. These are frozen. The flight is about 40 minutes. I think, to be honest, I'm pretty much gonna be 
away from a fridge for about maybe three hours maybe so if they are refrigerated they'll be absolutely fine for the next few days which is going to be wonderful um i've checked with the hotel which we're staying at the um we're staying at the abyss budget they have some microwaves that you just need to ask reception and they will heat up your food for you and they've also got a fridge there as well i believe so that's why I've got them and I've got a few of these as well because you just need to put hot water with these as well which is perfect and with the snacks the snacks are the snacks they're all going to be fine through through airports and everything like that so that is my food for this week it's going to be interesting to see how I get on at Disneyland Paris because we all know that Disney calories don't really have any macros because you just don't want to know what's in them. Yeah, I'm going to go and pack some of this away. I'm actually going to freeze some of this as well because I am away for four days. So I'm going to freeze some of this as well, which is very freezeable. So they're going to be okay for when I return back. And uh, yeah, let's see what this week holds for us. Oh, and by the way, you know this clock here? Batteries went, so... And, and I keep forgetting anyone else like that who just keeps forgetting to change the batteries and the clocks. Yeah, pretty much. Bonjour, I am in France now. I've made it. Um, I'm in my hotel. It's quite big actually. Woohoo, it's very big, very big. My food survived the plane, yeah! I just used the, the packaging from Muscle Food brought my uh, my tubs with me along with the little freezer gel things and uh, yeah they've uh, they've they've lasted quite well so yeah i'm gonna go and store these nicely my first lunch of the travels it is barbecue chicken barbecue chicken yeah it's really good dave was my server weren't yes. you i went to get your food heated up by the hotel because that because i was being lazy you're being lazy i'm just being a good boyfriend you are there you are. Yeah. Enjoy your food. I feel guilty because you like this stuff and you haven't got anything. Well, I'm probably going to get some stuff in the park, so... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what he's going to be getting. He's going to be getting those crepes and Nutella and everything. Sausage drop. See what I've got to live with. I think I'm going to bring some sweet popcorn with me tonight and do i bring another snack i think i might bring another snack as well i might bring these protein crunches as well along on the ride here you go david look after my treats will do so we have stopped at i can't remember what it is the pinocchio restaurant i am ordering having food and steffi is gonna have my protein popcorn. Yeah, I had my food when I was in the hotel. Yeah. So I was just hungry, so yeah. So I've got some food and I went for the pork shank with sauerkraut, okay. french fries, apple strudel it came with it, and then the Coke Zero. And look, they're selling nuggets and it's the star ones for the 25th anniversary. Because they've also got to get rid of that stock. And that was very loud then. But yeah, I'm gonna try all this food out. My Steffi enjoys her popcorn. Mm -hmm. No miscongeniality here. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> so what are you eating? It is a uh, chili and black bean chicken. <laughs> ah. Well, we're standing by the castle waiting for a parade. Enjoy. Mm -mm -mm. So I do have the chicken tikka for later on. I, I, I want some because I like it. And it looks really good. So I got chicken tikka masala. I'll probably go eat my food. It's good food. It's a good job later on. I'm gonna go and eat a salad or I'm gonna show you guys the other alternatives of eating a little bit healthier when you're here. Because situations like this happen. Ah, oh, the sun is in my eyes. Good morning, everybody. I am um, eating my protein out while walking to Disneyland for one last half a day. Dave's being my professional uh, chauffeur right now as I'm eating my oats. He's a good one, isn't he? We don't actually have any sort of like ready meals or anything, any rice pots or anything because I did have one and it looked a little bit questionable because it's fresh and it looked a little bit questionable and it should be actually frozen and then reheated but they were kept in the fridge and I was just like, yeah, I think this one might have had it. <laughs> 
Uh, so, so yeah, we're gonna see what's what's around. I'm gonna show you guys what, what other options there are. Indeed. In the park. Yes. Waiting for a parade at the moment, and um, while Dave's scoffing on his endless supply of cookies, which in that bag there are a ton of cookies that he's gonna consume. Yep. Really, he will consume them. I'm gonna have my refrigerators. So I'm in Ella's sandwich trying to figure out what to have for my lunch. Uh, I'm gonna go and get one of these salads actually. The bar jar sounds really good, which has uh, chicken, cheddar, mixed salad, avocado, sweet corn, um, coriander, tomato, black beans, fajita seasoning, and sauce. Mm. Or the Thai one. Oh, so much choice, I don't know. I've resorted to be a little bit naughty. I've got the cob salad in the end, and I do have sauce on the side, so. <laughs> gonna be okay I think I think I hope you let me off good morning everybody we have now returned back from Disneyland Paris and what a Halloween season it was it was so much fun so so you've got those vlogs coming out very very soon I think it's tomorrow yeah it's gonna be actually tomorrow it's gonna to start so <gasps> it's all exciting uh, but yeah um, I've returned home I've actually got food now <laughs> Eating at DLP wasn't too bad. Even though Dave kind of ate some of my food, um, it actually wasn't too bad because um, at Disneyland Paris, they have incorporated a lot more um, healthier foods to eat, even though it is a little bit more pricier. Um, so there is a lot of like salad with uh, proteins and DLP are trying their best in regards to like healthy eating options. So there are a lot of salads and I know salads can be a bit boring, but there are so many different variations of the salads and stuff and um, you can get them sometimes in the little quick service little carts or things over in the studios and as well um, there was one night I actually had a chicken burger I actually had a kids chicken burger um, one night I think it was Halloween night during my uh, treat night I was really surprised that the chicken was actually a grilled chicken and it wasn't like a battered chicken or a fried chicken or anything like that it was actually a grilled chicken with lettuce tomato and the bun was like um, a Warburton sort of soft bun sort of thing and then you could have like a choice of like the the tomatoes or something like that I know I'm not a child but that was enough food for me for that for that meal because I actually looked at it and went that's actually really good so I was really pleasantly surprised over the fact of the chicken is grilled chicken and I was like oh that's amazing so it wasn't too bad and plus as well there is um, another option to eat um, another place that I really like to eat over in DLP is Vapiano as well because um, you can really customize your food and know exactly what's gonna go into your pasta what's going on to your pizza what anything you know you can you can pretty much custom make your food so that's that's another place as well so it really wasn't too bad and yes I did get those berry jerseys so yeah um, I, I hope I've done good you know this with this week uh, I you know you you've, you've got to you've got to accept to yourself that you were on sort of vacation you were on a trip things like that happen um, but I do I, I will tell you something last night when I came home I was meant to actually have another meal but it was just it was just so late and I just wanted to pick so I actually had two snacks last night from the muscle food thingy so I'm like I'm really sorry but that was enough I was like I'm done now <laughs> so back on it today um I've got my muscle food pancakes which I did freeze so excited about that let's go and stick them in the microwave and I'm gonna go and eat these lovely blueberry pancakes I'm gonna try out this pasta kit mm. mushroom pesto Alrighty, here we go. Ooh, that's really cool. So we've got my pasta. Who are you? That's, oh, that is, who are you? Walnut and chili crumb. I've got some mushrooms and I guess that's my pesto. Nice. Gonna heat up my water now and um, let's get cooking. I'm actually excited. Look at all these mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Mm -mm. Here is my mushroom pesto pasta thing I can't remember what the name of it I've got this this nut crumb that I can put over the top um, one thing about the um, instructions is it doesn't really tell you what to do with the mushrooms so I kind of let them know about that one I kind of put it in a pan with the um, with the pesto and cooked it that way so hopefully it's going to taste all right so there we go mm. go on you want to try a bit it smells really good 
There you go. Ooh, that sounds good. Mmm. It's mine. It's yours, Jana. It's mine. It's got a bit of a kick to it as well, which is it nice. It does, it's lovely. It's, it's a really chili good. and, um, it's like a chili and nut crumb. Yeah. I can't remember what it is. Yeah. Very good. I'm a fan of pasta, so I like that. He approves. Alrighty, I am going to try the next, um, the other, the other pasta kit that I have, which is the penne pasta with spicy pork and parsley crumb. And instead of cooking it on the hob, I'm going to see what it's like in the microwave. So, so I've got all of my ingredients. It's telling me to heat up the sauce. Is it just heat up the sauce? Heat up the sachet of sauce in a microwavable dish for 90 seconds and then add the pasta to the dish and cook together for a further 90 seconds. So I'm gonna do that, let's see what it's like. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's spicy. Yeah, it's really good. It's actually not too bad in the microwave, to be honest. Really, really good. Hey everybody, it's, it's, uh, it's actually Monday, the day that this video is actually going out. Uh, I've just come back from the gym. Um, I've not been able to use the DVD this week because obviously I've been at Disney. Uh, but I did go to the gym on Monday and I went to the gym today. Um, so, so that's that's kind of good. Um, so yeah, I've just come back. I'm going to go and eat my spicy marinated chicken breast. Get my protein up. So yeah, I'm going to actually wrap it up for today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video this week. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed the challenge that I've been on this week. It was it was quite interesting. I did have two alcoholic beverages while I was out in um, in Disney, but um, you know it's not every day that happens. And I was meeting up with Emma as well, so we were having a massive catch up, and we just thought, you know what, let's go and enjoy ourselves and just have a drink because. I don't really drink that much, to be honest. You know, things happen. We're only human, after all. If you are interested in joining the Do The Unthinkable Challenge, which I know a few of you have, and have already um, messaged me and commented to me on how much that you are enjoying it, um, if you want to join in, uh, I've got the discount code down in the description box below for you to check out. And also, if you want to know a little bit more, other than the website uh, that I've given you down below, Do The Unthinkable have actually got their own YouTube channel now. I will leave a link on the end slide of this video and I'll leave it down below for you guys to check it out. It's quite a handy little channel really because uh, you know it's got hints, tips, um, it's even got some little routines in there, it's even got yoga in there, all that other stuff so if you want to go and check it out and you can have an idea of what it all entails. So all of those videos are completely free on their channel so go over there and subscribe to them. And um, so yeah, if you did like this video, give it a massive thumbs up, I really appreciate it. And if you're not already, click the red button down below and subscribe, because I tell you, tomorrow will be the start of the Disneyland Paris Halloween vlogs. Ah, whoop, whoop, whoop. And of course, um, I'll be continuing on with this Do The Unthinkable Challenge, which next week I'm going to show you a little bit more on the DVD. And uh, yeah, you're going you're gonna to see me try and work out with the DVD. So <laughs> there we go, guys. Um, so yeah, until then, have a wonderful Monday night and I'll see you all tomorrow.